this is my uh, first attempt at making a video about a build. The build is a crane on a pickup truck and uh, I'll show you what the uh, crane looks like. I'll show you, I'll kind of walk you through some of the, uh, the idea that I have for how I want to mount this thing. Easy to take apart, like it's a, you assemble it in pieces so that the whole thing doesn't weigh so much as one big object. So I'll walk you through that right now. Okay, so this is the pickup truck. This is the crane. It is a thousand pound at one adjustment and 500 pounds with the uh, telescopic uh, boom fully extended. Um, it swivels right there. It swivels and it's got a lock on it. Um, and yeah, it's pretty basic. It's got a uh, bottle jack, three ton long ram jack, and picked this up on Craigslist as well. So what did I? What I wanted to do was my hitch right there. I want to slide a piece of HSS through the end of it. So I mounted it in a way that it was just low enough that it will clear the edge of the truck. So, with this, that goes in there. And so I'll probably, I might have a hole in there. Put a hole and a pin right into the hitch. I don't know. We'll decide about that later. Or I could just leave it. It's not like it's going anywhere once uh, the crane's got some weight on it. Um, so, what I want to do is I want to raise this plate up. Pretty much from what I've seen in pictures on the old Google is uh, that it's about the height of your tailgate. When your tailgate's down, the base of that plate. Um, yeah, I think. Or it could be the flange. Anyways, can't remember. Figure it out later. I'm going to make a another piece of HSS with a plate on it that matches four holes in the corners. I don't need to use all eight holes. I'll just use a corner corner holes, <laughs> four corner holes, and then uh, make a couple screws that screw down into the plate. Just weld a couple nuts on the other side to receive the screws or the bolts with like a handle. The bolts will have a handle welded on them. So you just plop the crane right onto this plate, screw it on, and then I got two of these jacks. They're called an implement jack. They're used for supporting, uh, say, the back of your trailer when you're uh, when you got the ramps down and you're loading up a vehicle or a scissor lift or whatever, you, whatever you're uh, unloading. It's to just support the back of the trailer. So what they supply here is they supply this pipe, with a couple holes in it. You weld this pipe to whatever you want it to be welded to, and your jack slides over. You put a pin in there, done. So what my plan is to have this base welded or bolted to a plate with a larger three and a half inch HSS going down. This piece is going to slide into the HSS and, the, and then the, off of the sides of the HSS going this way and going that way, outriggers. And on the ends are gonna be the jacks. Hopefully that makes sense. You'll uh, you'll see it as I go. Okay, so over here, what I've got is uh, that three and a half inch HSS. With uh, I just um, oxy fuel cut that with the torch. So the HSS, when it's in position, this piece will be vertical like it is right now. This guy's going inside it. It's going to have a hole here with the pin going through right through this guy and then welded on top is going to be my ten and a half inch square 
uh, plate with the bolt hole pattern with the bolt hole pattern Okay, so now I'm going to take the receiver over to the mill and we're going to plug a uh, 21 30 second hole for the pin through the HSS and then bring it back, put it, put it together, square it up, weld it, done. Square it up, weld it, done. It'll work. I put the hole going this way because if I stuck it through the top, I actually might not be able to get it in there because of the, uh, the plate going on top. So I figured, hey, let's just put it through the side. But the advantage of putting pins through the top is they don't, uh, they don't fall out if they happen, the clip happens to come off or whatever. But uh, this will be fine. The holes on the base plate are not, uh, the edge distances are not all the same. They're unequal. They're kind of all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to transfer punch the four corners and then drill them oversize because I'm going to be welding a nut on the backside anyway. So... Uh, it doesn't really matter. 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 As you can see, I've welded it up, I've drilled the hole, and then I just whipped up some, some bolts. Uh, oh yeah, these are, these are the nuts welded on the back side of the plate. And then 
some bolts with some half inch round bar. Uh, welded on there and tacked a uh, big fat washer on there and well that one is uh, well, you see that that angle there that's I don't know if I want I don't want that I'll probably have to I want that to come down flat I want the I want the pressure the the surfaces to be uh, parallel to each other when I clamp that plate down um, probably doesn't really matter but anyways I'll probably fix that one anyways uh, yeah Okay, so I've got the crane uh, just bolted in on its plate there, um, just as a rough guide here to kind of give me an idea as to where I want to put the outriggers, how far apart I want them. I decided I'm going to have them on slight, slight angle this way and that way. All right. This is a bad example, but you'll see. Kind of where the uh, jacks are sitting right now is where it's going to go. So I've cut them on a 25 degree angle because I didn't want them coming out square. They're raised with a one inch bar there, which makes it a lot easier. And one inch matches this distance because that's... that's uh, that was set at one inch and then after I've welded these on then the next thing are these stubs that the jack goes on and those will be welded somewhere here something like that all right okay so she's all welded up uh, still pretty hot but I'm gonna throw it on there and we're going to do a little test lift with the uh, that angle plate right there you see on the ground Kind of on an angle, just because I eyeballed those. All right, let's put crane on there. This is why I made it in multiple pieces, because the ones you purchase, obviously though, they're made out of lighter gauge material. They're all one piece, so you have to lift them, lift it all at the same time. Grab my little screws. I'm glad I did these outriggers on an angle. Do a basket. <laughs> 